Hey there and welcome, my name is Carlos Berlitz and let's start talking about what has been going on in the indie tabletop RPG scene. And as always, I'm not being directly sponsored by anyone mentioned here unless explicitly said or mentioned otherwise. All the links will be in the description, some links may be affiliate links so that you can help me without costing you anything extra, but then all the links will be in the description together with some timestamps so that you can jump to the point of your preference. And this week we first start with We Whale version 2.0 release. We Whale is an RPGC creation, so RPGC being the Southeast Asian tabletop RPG scene, and it is a rules light game that fits in three business cards. All rules are in only one business card, the other two of them being one for an extra rule and some general oracles and a bit of lore to help uh, flesh out the whole world, and the other one is with enemies and NPCs so that it can help the GM in establishing the world and the game. And the premise is simple and easy, there is something wrong with reality. Are you going to do something about it? I mean, it can be try and make it right, it can be just make it worse, uh, watch the world burn and all of that, or are you just going to pass by and leave it as it is? It is an option as well. It can be played GMless, as well as the more traditional approach, with as low as one player. So you have tons of options, being it GMless or being it with one GM and at least one player. That's it. From RPG Latin, the Latin American RPG tabletop scene, we have two playbooks written for the girlfriend of my girlfriend is my friend. Alice just created this two one, Planned Parent and The Revolutionary. The first one is about being gentle and to learn to express yourself. The second one is about being angry and wanting to change the world. So make your choice because at least one of them will have the kind of vibe that you are needing and wanting at the moment. And There's Ghost in Them, Their Rooms is another release for this week. It is a generator to make investigative haunted house dungeons in case you want to adapt that regular sword and sorcery game to this more spooky season. So this release by Sealed Library is kind of trying to generate this kind of mystery inside that you can just put in any dungeon of the regular Sword and Sorcery game that you are playing. It is also part of the tabletop RPG Halloween Spooktacular bundle, in case you want more games to... or more ideas to spookify your games. Is it spookify even more? I don't know. And continuing a bit on the spooky vibe, we have Tomb. Tomb is a classless 2d6 game by Perplexing Ruins, and we are exploring unknown locations to find treasures, or even at least a purpose. Survive, grow, persevere, this rules light system that uses an A6 booklet format uh, is something that I find quite charming and it has some very neat ideas in it, you should check it out. And I want to bring to your attention the Dragon Meat Marginalized Folk Bundle that is offering more than 20 titles by $20 in order to raise funds to something that I think is important, that is helping marginalized folks to attend Dragon Meat. Dragon Meat being one of the big conventions in the UK. You can apply for receiving the funding uh, or help in buying the bundle. Originally, they have uh, secured 20 entry tickets that were given by Dragon Meat itself, and then the bundle is to help with a lot of other of the costs, because going to a convention is not just buying the entrance ticket. Uh, you have to also have other costs like accommodation, travel, food, so they want to help 20 people with the ticket and as well some costs to their accommodation, travel, food, etc. And everything that won't be used for this particular thing will be donated to the Albert Kennedy Trust. You can check all the information is better in the page that they put together. So if you want to check these games for, from amazing creators, you have Sealed Library, you have uh, Loot the Room, you have so many others, uh, Paranormal Society, uh, I mean, 
you have a lot of good games and to help people from marginalized communities to go to Dragon Myth. On gems, let's start about Pocket Places Jam 2021. Its premise is a little bit different because it is for creators to create a system lens rules free location using the one page template, uh, like the mid zenith that we mentioned here before. So that you have something that will be inspiring and that can be used uh, in any table. So you have this pocket places jam 2021 to just think about our location. You don't need to create any kind of rules, just make it interesting, make it evocative and put it in the format of uh, mini zini. Submissions are due on September 25th, so we will still have a little bit more than a week to finish it. So you should check out this jam and try your hand. It's also a nice way to try and get experience with this f format of mini zinis. On threads and posts, we talk once again about the uh, Great Clayton Notestin has all his design threads. This one is extremely useful and helpful. On this one, he discusses and illustrates actually some basic design principles that can be used on your visual design uh, for your games, such as you have hierarchy, you have emphasis, you have movement, you have balance, and many others that he not just explains, he illustrates, he have images in all of them. It it can help not only in creating games, if you are making the visual design of your games, but also on evaluating or comprehending why you like one particular design and not another that you have from other games. It is a very well thought thread, uh, as all of the, the ones from Clayton Noticing are actually. And for today, I believe that's it. If you like the video, like the video, share, subscribe, you know how internet works. You can pay me a coffee in coffee. Let me know in the comments what you are liking about the series, what you are disliking about the series, about the episode. You can pay me a coffee, as I mentioned. You can buy my games on each.io. And I will see you all in my next video. So, see ya.